Hey guys, so I've just been to Bolton Summer 2023 and it was an amazing comp. This comp is my first 3 blind, pyramids, 1 handed, 4x4 and 5x5 comp. And I'm excited to show you guys how I did. So here we go. Today's video format is going to be a little different because I've spent most of my time in the competition socializing <laughs> and I forgot to record commentary videos. So I'm just gonna do a voiceover. I've also bought a couple of new cubes in the competition, so expect reviews from them really soon. So for three blind, I was a bit nervous because this is my first ever official blindfold attempt, so I struggled a bit on memorizing, but I somehow still got a successful solve of three minutes, 59 seconds, 48. And also this happened during the solves. I left the camera on the table and the next competitor is Benjamin Gz... Gz... I'm not even gonna attempt. Gzeshak. So he sat on the tables and noticed my camera, so he was just doing this. For the second solve, I had an unfortunate DNF because the cube popped during my execution. For the third solve, I was two flipped edges away from having a successful solve, but I still ended up with a DNF. On to 3x3 one-handed. For the first solve, I had the G perm that I liked the most for PLL, and I ended up with a time of 28.49 seconds. For the second solve, I forgot how to do the UB perm, so I ended up doing two UA perms at the end. And then after the solves, I realized that you can just do lefty UA perm for the UB perm, but I eventually ended up with a time of 32.45 seconds. For the third solve, I had a really bad OLO, which is OLO2, which looks like this. OLO was the part that made my time slower and I wasn't really happy about it. But then I ended up with a time of 30.06 seconds. For the fourth solve, nothing too special. The only problem was my fingers weren't moving quick enough, but I ended up with a time of 37.93 seconds. For the fifth solve, I had a Z perm at the end of the solve, which I don't know how to do without end moves in one handed. So I ended up doing 3 UA perms and ended with a time of 38.71 seconds. For 5x5, five five, I thought the cutoff was 3 minutes, but then one of my friends told me right before the solve that the cutoff was 2 minutes, and I averaged about 2 minutes 20 seconds on 5x5. Five five. So then I knew that I am guaranteed a cutoff for 5x5. Five five. For the first solve, I got a time of 2 minutes 21 seconds, and the second solve ended off with a 2 minutes 27 seconds. I didn't complete the other 3 solves because I reached cutoff, but it was a fun first attempt of 5x5. Five five. On to day 2 of the competition. The first event was 3x3 three three round 1, and I can say I did pretty well compared to the last comp, which was UK Championships. For the first solve, I had nerves because I haven't solved officially in 10 months, but I got a time of 15.10 seconds. Not good. But... For the second solve, thanks to the wonderful corner cutting of the Worm V9, I had no lockups during the solves and then I ended up with a time of 12.58 seconds. For the third solve, I didn't have that good of a look ahead, but I ended up with a time of 11.77 seconds, which is my new PR compared to my last one of 12.12 .12 seconds. For the fourth solve, I didn't like the solve because I ended up with a V perm, but I still ended up having a new PR of 11.64 seconds. Yeah. Gee, that's nice. For the fifth solve, I had another V perm at the end, but I still ended up with a time of 12.43 seconds. On to pyramids. I'm not really that good at commentating on pyramids, so I'm just gonna say my times. 19.38, DNF, 14.98, 11.88, and 13.95. For the next clip, I'm in a Tegman video. Well, not really, as I'm just watching, but I think I'm not supposed to show it to you guys yet, so I'm just gonna blur the video. As for 4x4, I thought I did a pretty good job. For the first solve, I got a time of a minute 9 seconds 92. Sorry that I cannot show the rest of the video, as my phone storage ran out mid solve. By the way, the judge just randomly did a pyramid solve in the middle of my solve, which was pretty funny. For the second solve, I ended up with a time of 56.89 seconds, which is my first ever sub 1 minute official solve, and I was pretty proud of that one. For the third solve, 
I had a time of a minute 8.26 seconds. By the way, in these solves, I'm using a Moyu Aosu WRM, which there will be a video coming really soon, so make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications to watch the video. For the fourth solve, I had a double parity at the end, which made me end up with a time of a minute 9.67 seconds. As for the fifth solve, I got a time of a minute 1.39 seconds, and I got an average of a minute 6.44 seconds, which I was pretty proud of for my first 4x4 average. On to 3x3 second round. For the first solve, I was a bit worn out from two days of solving, so my head wasn't really in the game too much. So I wasn't doing look ahead properly, but I ended up with a time of 14.73 seconds. For the second solve, I got a time of 13.51 seconds. The Worm V9 was overshooting and I paused for a bit during F2L, so at the end I was a bit mad and requested for a cube swap. That ended up being a really bad idea because I just bought the Tornado V3 without setting it up at all. For the next three solves, oh no. That's why you don't use new cubes and comps. And then on to 3x3 finals. This is my first ever time being in finals, so I was really nervous. But for the first 12, I say I did a pretty good job with the time of 11.49 seconds, which is my new PR. For the second solve, I locked up on a V-perm, which I'm not proud of. I don't know why I lock up on V-perms all the time, but I still ended up with a time of 14.97 seconds. For the third solve, I did a small keyhole in the second F2L pair, which I'm pretty proud of in this solve, as this is my first ever keyhole in comp. I ended up with a time of 14.89 seconds. For the fourth solve, I wasn't concentrating because I was a bit worn out and tired, but I still ended up with a time of 13.47 seconds. For the final solve, I had a high hopes that it can be sub-11 so I can have another PR, but I couldn't react fast enough with the AOF at the end, so I got a time of 11.16 seconds, which is still a PR, but I didn't get sub-11. Nevertheless, I'm still pretty proud of the solve. In conclusion, I think I did pretty well in this comp, as I've gotten at least 10 PRs in the competition. That's crazy. Here are my results and rankings for each event. I hope you guys enjoyed my commentary on how I did in Bolton Summer 2023. Make sure to like, share and subscribe and turn on notifications for future review videos of the cubes I used in this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.